hello everyone in this lesson we are going to learn about the use of layers in adobe photoshop this is really important because when you will start working on adobe photoshop in every step you have to work with layers so therefore layer is really very important okay so from the beginning what we have to do for learning about the layer we have to go for create new or we have to create a new document so you can uh, just click in this uh, create new option or you can just directly go to file menu and from there you can go with the new option so this new and create new are the same things so let me click in this uh, create new option then a pop-up will appear and i'm using this default photoshop size this default option so you just have to select it and then you just have to go for create option so let me click create okay you can see here the document is created and if you focus at right sidebar this is our layer panel and you can see here that layer panel have one layer right now and the name of the layer is background so we just created a new document and we used white color as our background content that's why it's named as background and you can see here we have a lock icon so why these things is okay so i want to use this move tool so this is move tool and you know this move tool is why working for because for moving any image or any layer or any object so i want to i want to move this white background from here so let me let me try to do that so for moving for or for trying to moving this white background from here you have to left click with your mouse you have to press and hold and you have to move your mouse so let me try to move this background content in here so what you have to do you just have to click with your mouse press hold and move okay so when i just did these things i got a notification and what is saying the currently selected layer is background layer you cannot move a background layer or change its sketching order blending mode or opacity however you can convert to it in a normal layer and then changes any of these attributes that means you can see here we still have the lock icon in here that means this layer is locked so what we have to do we have to convert this layer as a normal layer or the simple thing is we have to unlock this layer for moving or for applying any kind of editing therefore you can click this convert to normal layer or let me click cancel because once you will click convert to normal layer this icon will be removed so i'm going to show you in two ways so once you will click this convert to normal layer it will be unlocked let me click cancel or you can you can directly just click in this lock icon so let me click this lock icon you can see here now the lock icon is removed and the background the background name is renamed as the layer that means now this layer convert in a normal layer and now let's take a try to move this background content from here so let me use my mouse and you can see here this is our transparent document and we used the white background content and when it was locked we were unable to move this background content but when i just unlocked it now it's able we are able to moving this background content or this layer so this is how you will use the lock and unlock option in adobe photoshop for layer okay so this is a layer this white background is also is considering as a layer now i want to i want to add some images so therefore you can use two ways so i'm going to show you both things okay i already given an exercise file in resource section uh, so you just have to download the exercise file okay so let me let me click first this file menu for adding an image so here is the file menu and from there i'm going to go for open option so let me click this open option then a pop-up will appear so as an example let me use this island image and let me select it and let me click open you can see here this 
image is opened in a new tab this is our new tab and we have the layer in here but this is this tab or untitled one this is our main working tab so what just happened this image i just used the opened option that is placed in new tab but uh let me click this untitled one in this tab and now let me go for file menu and from there i'm going to use this place embedded option so let me click this embedded option and in here i want to use this orange image so let me select this orange image and let me click place okay you can see here this image is placed to our current tab and you can see here inside our layer panel we have a new layer in here let me hit the intro button from my keyboard okay so we got two layer here is the first layer here is the second layer now i want to i want to move this image this island image from this tab to our present working tab this is our working tab or this untitled one you can consider this tab as our, our working tab but the image I opened it's opened in a new tab therefore what i have to do i have to move this image from this tab to this one so therefore i have to use drag and drop option so you can see here we already have this background layer and it's locked so if you want to move this image from this tab you have to convert this layer as a normal layer so therefore you just have to click in here or if you directly just use your mouse for moving or for drag and drop option let me use this drag and drop option this time you just have to use your mouse and you have to try to drag and drop and you can see here again this notification appeared so now let me click this convert to normal layer you can see here we have the same layer as like before here is we got the layer zero instead of background we have the same layer zero instead of background now i can move anywhere this image inside my tab so therefore what i have to do i have to move this image in here and let me place my mouse cursor to this untitled tab and in here i am releasing my press okay so now you can see here i have two image here okay the first one is the orange image and the second one is the island image but you can see here if you compare our document size this is our main document size but the image of the size is larger than document size therefore the entire image is not placing in here and you can see we have total three layer right now layer one layer two layer three but when i placed when i placed this island image then what is happened this orange image is masked do you know why because for the order of the layer so you can see here we have layer one at top if you consider the position layer one at top this unsplash this layer is placed in second and the layer zero is placed in third but right now if you want to if you want to make the preview for working for your orange layer or unsplash layer in that case what you will do because this layer one this layer one or the island image is masked therefore this orange layer is masked by the layer one but if you want to edit something else right now you can do two ways you can you can move this second layer at top then you will be able to have your uh, orange image let me show you you just have to use the drag and drop method you just have to move this second layer at top so now you can see that we got our orange image visible in here do you know why because i placed that unsplash or orange layer at top if i place this layer zero at top then i will have the white background because in layer zero i don't have anything else i just have the white background content and if you put if you put this layer one if you put this layer on again in top then you will have the images okay so you can you can see right now that we have total three layer and the visibility is totally depend on the order so basically what is happening right now 
at first we have the island image in second we have the background content image or white background and in finally at last we have the orange or unsplash layer because now i placed this orange layer at the bottom so this is for making the visibility of the layer by the order but we have an option in here that's called the visibility option you can see an icon of eye so if you if you turn off this eye icon then what will happen that first layer is disappeared because we just disappeared or we just turned off the visibility option inside the layer but you can see till now that layer one is placed at top but still we don't have the image preview inside our document because i just disappeared or i just turned off the visibility for the second one let me turn off the visibility and if you want to turn off the visibility for this image you just have to turn off or you just have to uncheck the eye box okay so every layer is now turned off of visibility so now if you want to if you want to make the visibility only for this third layer you just have to turn this on and if you want to turn on the first layer you just have to click this layer one and if you want to turn on the layer o or the second layer you just have to turn on but this layer o and the third layer will not be visible right now because after turning on all the visibility layer one placed at top so i hope you got the idea how these things are working okay now i want to i want to delete these layers so as an example let me turn off the first layer and i want to delete this um, third layer or i want to delete this orange image so therefore how you will do that you just have to select this layer and then you have to click this delete or uh, delete layer option or you can just press the delete button from your keyboard so let me use this delete layer option then a pop-up will appear for confirmation so you just have to click yes okay so you can see now that uh third layer is deleted okay so now i want to show you how it will duplicate the layer so you can see here i have a total two layer in here so let me delete the second one as well okay so let me turn on this layer i have only one layer and this is the image of the island so if you want to if you want to duplicate the layer in that case you just have to right click with your mouse in the name of the layer not in image in here in the in the text field so if you click with your mouse in this image then different option will appear and if you click with your mouse in the text area or in this uh, right side area then another option will be open so for creating the same layer once again you just have to use this duplicate layer option so let me click this duplicate layer option then another pop-up will appear so you have to type the name so as an example layer one copy this is the default name is provided by wordpress so if you want to put any other name you can put it so as an example let me write layer two let me click ok so you can see here layer one and layer two is appeared in here so if you if you now turn off the visibility for layer two still you will have still you will have the second image but now let me let me change the position because we still have the same position of image therefore when i am turning off the layer for first layer or the top layer we still getting the exact image therefore i want to move the image position a little right side so therefore for moving the second layer you have to select the bottom layer and now i am going to use this move tool and now i am going to place my layer at right side so you can see now that the image or the image of island is uh, placed at right bottom okay so this is our bottom layer now let me turn on our top layer so let me select the top layer and let me turn on the visibility 
So you can see here we have the same image but we change the direction or we change the position. Therefore when I turned on the top layer we got the previous position. Let me turn off the visibility and we have we have the another layer and this layer one this visibility is appearing in here. So this is how you will copy or duplicate the layer in Adobe Photoshop. Okay right now we are going to learn about the blending mode of layer so you can see here inside the layer panel we got this normal option and once you will click in this normal option it will have a long list okay so you can see here right now we have the normal option but when i'm placing my mouse cursor in darken you can see both image are visible right now but what we have at top ones with the normal blending mode is available we have the top layer but when i'm placing a darken both images are visible so this is the multiple blending output color burn linear burn darker color lighten screen color dodge linear dodge lighter color overlay soft light hard light vivid light linear light pin light hard mix difference exclusion subtract divide hue saturation color and luminosity so this is the use of blending mode of layers different type of option have different type of output so depend on your need you can choose any option from here so i am keeping the normal mode once again and you can see here here is the option for opacity so if you want to increase or decrease the opacity you have to use this opacity option so right now we have 100% opacity but if you want to reduce the opacity for any layer you have to make sure that that layer is selected then uh, from the opacity I'm going to reduce the opacity anything happens okay let me go with slowly let me reduce the opacity you can see here the second image is slightly visible in here let me reduce the opacity now you can see that first image are little less in view let me decrease more so i'm reducing the opacity first image is disappearing gradually and the second image or the second layer or the bottom layer that image is visible strongly okay so this is how this opacity function is working so let me turn 100% opacity okay so we added two layer let me type some text in here and therefore I'm taking this horizontal type tool and I want to write opened online okay so here is the text I just added and I want to increase the size of the font so therefore you just have to make a selection and here is the option for increasing or decreasing the font size so from 12 point if you click in this drop down option then you will have some preset from 6 point to 72 point with 72 point you will have the larger size of text here is the output so as an example I'm going to put for 24 point so here is our text is appeared okay so here is our text i just written a text and once the text writing is done i just have to click this tick mark and now i have to use this move tool because with the move tool i will properly place this text in here so for moving the text you have to make sure this layer is selected because if you select this layer to and now after selection of layer 2 if you try to move the text from here you won't be able to do that so as an example let me move the text from here so what is happening basically this image is moving so therefore you have to make sure that t that means this is called text layer so you have to make sure that text layer is selected now you have to try to move the text so you can see now now our text is moving okay so what we found right now in our layer panel we have total three layer text layer layer two and layer one now i'm going to show you how to use the 
smart layer or how to convert this layer in a smart layer so i want to i want to make a single layer that means i don't want to keep this all layer in here but i want to make a combination of these three layers therefore you have to make a selection you just have to press the control button from your keyboard and then you have to select all the layer you can see here three layer is selected so instead of three layer i want to i want to combine this all layer therefore you have to right click with your mouse after making making the selection of three layer then you will have this convert to smart object option so let me click convert to smart object and you can see here other layer are not available right now but the icon of the layer is changed a new icon is added here so opened online this layer is available but layer 2 and layer 1 there's a disappeared don't worry they're not disappeared if you want to if you want to work with that two layer you can still have the chance because you just have to double click with your mouse and then you have to click this uh, OK for this pop-up and you can see here we have total three layer again in here okay so from here you can you can edit or you can customize any layer you want okay so this is this is called a smart object or converting the smart object so this layer is opened in a new tab but in our main working tab we still have the single layer but when you will double click in here then the new tab will be appeared and all layer will be able to edit editable so let me close this layer and i'm clicking no because i don't want to save these things okay so you just learned how to make or how to convert a layer into smart object and when it will convert then all the other layer will be placed inside the top layer okay so this is how this layer functionality is working in adobe photoshop